Celine snuck through a price increase earlier this week, which averaged about 6% across the board, unless we count those items that went up by 28%, or rather over $6,000. Let's get into it. Celine is one of several luxury fashion houses that will be taking a price increase this fall, but specifically for Celine, this is actually their second price increase of 2022. Earlier in the spring, Celine increased several of their popular items, probably to the point where many would think, well, because a certain item increased in the spring, that means that it is safe this go around, right? Wrong. There were a handful of items that increased both earlier this year and also earlier this week, and we'll be getting into those here in this video. Prefacing this conversation by stating, ending October 2022, the rate of inflation here in the U.S. for the previous 12 months, according to the U.S. Department of Labor, was 7.7%. I like to work with nice round numbers, so we're going to round that up to 8%. I always like to include that stat because it gives us a good benchmark or something to compare or provide context against some of these increases. Now, just just like in previous price increase videos, there were a lot of pieces that were affected or rather a lot of pieces that I was monitoring. I am not gonna be going through everything. We would be here all day. We don't have time for that. Rather, I will be highlighting select pieces or select increases. If there's an item that you are curious about and maybe I don't mention it or I don't speak to it, pop it in the comment section down below and I can reference my handy list here and let you know if and by how much that piece increased. I may not be referencing everything in this video but I am going to be speaking to enough pieces to where my memory is good. It's just not that good. So I will be referencing my list just to make sure that I'm getting these dollar and percentage amounts correct in terms of these increases. Now, unlike other fashion houses, Celine's price increases generally speaking, aren't too extreme. Now I say that, and of course in my opening, I mentioned that there were a couple pieces that increased 28%. I'm not quite sure what happened in the exotic leather market, but their pieces, or in particular their lizard pieces, increased quite significantly, but it was most notably their crocodile pieces. There were two pieces in particular, both of which increased $6,300, coming out to a 28% increase. The the third piece increased $1,300 or 6%. So there are your crocodile pieces. As for the lizard pieces, and I'm gonna reference my notes here for this. As for the lizard, the highest increase was actually on the round box triumph bag in lizard, clearly, increasing $900 or 16%. And on the flip side, or kind of the opposite end, the lowest increase, and I hate to even have to mention this, but it was on the Ava bag in Lizard, only increased $50 or a measly 1%. There were quite a few pieces kind of in between those as far as Lizard that increased, but when we think about exotic materials, those generally are more expensive or they tend to be more expensive. So when we think about price increases, they can be fairly significant. And when we look at everything on this list, it tends to kind of skew things, especially when we talk about averages. So I wanted to address those separately before we get into kind of the rest of this list. Backing out the exotics, the remainder of those items that did see an increase, the average was about 6% or $116. The highest increase was $350, the lowest was $20. Now before we get into talking about actual items that increased, I wanted to give an honorable mention for those items that did not see an increase, which would include the vast majority of SLGs. Things like wallets, card holders, phone pouches, things like that. Select. Ava's, this one included. Now, of course, you all know that I love this color. This tan is beautiful, but just a very quick comment on this. Celine does have the Ava, or rather this style of Ava, available right now in black, but also a really fun green color. The green, it's actually a really nice shade of green. Just wanted to throw that out there. In addition to some other items would include old school Celine bags, or rather the Phoebe Philo era bags. I have some of them behind me just for a little bit of eye candy, but that would include things like the belt, luggage, Kabah Phantom, and classic style bags. And then lastly, select Triumph bags, including the teen, classic or medium, and large sizes. Moving into some of those low single digit increase items, resulting in anywhere from a 50 to a $150 increase. Starting off with the Romy, or some people call it the Rumi, increased 2% or $50. 
the Boston bag, but the textile version did not increase. However, the canvas, or rather the Triumph canvas version did increase 3% or $50. Love this bag. Another style that increased 3% or $50 was the Ava and Triumph canvas. Now this was a style that increased earlier in the year and was also affected in this latest round here in the tail end of the year. So when we look at 2022 and where this bag kind of started the year and then ended the year, the medium Ava and Triumph canvas started off at $1,400 and is now ending the year at $1,600, a 14% increase. Yowza. Moving on to the Triumph shoulder bag. This is in the shiny calfskin, increased 4% or $100. The chain version, or rather the chain strap version, this is the leather, the one that is chain on the Triumph canvas and the shiny calfskin versions. Both of those did also go up 4% or $100. And those were also styles that increased in the beginning of the year and also here at the tail end of the year. So in 2022, the chain shoulder bag in Triumph canvas started off the year at $2,600 and is now ending the year at $2,850, a 10% increase. Last but not least would be the large soft 16 bag in smooth calfskin going up 4% or $150. Highlighting a few items that are average-ish. Again, the average increase was around 6%, so these items increased anywhere from, say, 5 to 7%. Starting off with the Chain Bissauce Triumph in shiny calfskin, that one went up 5% or $150. Next is the Small Kebab Vertical in Triumph Canvas going up 6% or $100. Now, this was another one that was a double whammy in 2022, starting the year off at $1,500 and ending now at $7,000. $1,500, a 13% increase. And finally, the crossbody oval purse Cure Triumph went up 7% or $100. Now there are a couple different variations of this, but this one in particular increased in 2022, going from $1,300 at the beginning of the year to now $1,500 here at the end, a 15% increase. Before we get into those most affected styles in this latest round of increases, I wanted to briefly speak to whether or not I still think that these items are worth it at their new price points. Now, of course, an item's worth is going to be incredibly subjective and going to vary based on your personal preferences, your style, your budget. However, the increases thus far that we've spoken about, with the exception of those exotic items, have not been horrible. They've either been in line with or actually less than recent inflation trends. Now, of course, no Nobody likes a price increase. I know I don't want to pay more than I have to. I know you guys don't want to pay more than you have to, but we can at least understand some of these increases. Now, of course, taking it a step further, those items that have been affected now twice with price increases this year, are those items still worth it? In the examples I've shared up until this point, those items have increased maybe upwards of a couple hundred dollars. And so in my opinion, they are still worth it, especially if you really have your heart set on something. However, this next group of items was the most affected in terms of this round of price increases, but there was one item in particular, one bag in particular, that increased twice in 2022. So if it were me and I was considering any of these next few items, I would really have to pause, take a step back, and ask myself if I was willing to spend my money on these items at their new retail price points, especially this next one. Now, I already mentioned that the large 16 saw an increase, but really it was the 16 style that was the most affected in terms of the number of items or rather the sheer number of items that saw increases. It was the medium soft 16 in smooth calfskin that had the highest percentage and highest dollar amount increase during this latest round going up 12% or $350 plus the $100 that it already increased earlier this year. So in total, in 2022, the medium 16 has increased $450, going from $2,850 at the beginning of the year to now $3,300. I would really have to ask myself about that one, like really have to take a moment on that. Now, another 16 mentioned would be the mini 16. There were a couple different versions in the tweed and the textile, both of which increased 11% or $300. Other sizes were affected, including the teen, bucket, small, basically all the 16s went up in this latest round of price increases. The wallet on chain, 
increased $150, but depending on the material, it increased anywhere from say 10% to 11%. These next few items, these were not necessarily significant dollar increases, but based on where their price point is, the percentage was quite significant. Starting off with the very popular Triumph belt, the teen and small sizes went up $60, 11% on the small, 13% on the teen and $80 on the medium, which equated to 14%. So that was with the belt. Last but not least would be the small pouch. There are two different versions of this, both of which increased $150 or 25%. Wrapping this all up, again, the exotic leathers were the most affected from a dollar and percentage increase standpoint, but backing those out, looking at all the other items, the highest increase was $350, the lowest was 20, average was 116. From a percentage standpoint, the highest increase was 25%, lowest was two, average was six. Are these items still worth it? In my opinion, I do think that they are still worth it. However, there are some items that are absolutely not worth it. I was not about to pay $22,000 for a crocodile clutch before. I am definitely not paying $28,000 for it now. How are you all feeling with this latest round of price increases from Celine? Are we relieved because certain popular styles didn't increase or are we stressing out about it? Let us know in the comments down below. Of course, again, if there is a style that I did not mention and you're curious about it, pop it in the comments down below and I'll let you know if and by how much it increased. If you're into this type of content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, but I'll catch you in the next one.